property, uh, you have the internal block diagram of a, a PAMP or operational ampli amplifier. It basically consists of three stages. One is a differential amplifier stage uh, and a voltage amplifier and push-pull uh, amplifier at the output stage. Now, <clears throat> the me, we already know, we have done the discussion in the previous uh, uh, video that a PAMP is an old voltage amplifier, right? So what is the meaning of differential amplifier input stage? See, you already know that op-amp has two terminals, plus and minus, right? And a single output. Now, you give a voltage V1 here, you give a voltage V2 here. The difference, right, this is output. The difference between these two voltages, that is V1 minus V2. So this difference gets amplified to the next stage. Right, so uh, V1 minus V2 is the difference between two voltages at two terminals of op amp. The difference gets amplified to the next stage, and further it gets amplified in voltage amplifier gain stage, and again in push pull amplifier stage. Here, class B basically is used. Class B push pull amplifier. This uh, discussion will be taken care in the future uh, lectures. Now. The main concept here is the difference between these two voltage, uh, the voltage that is present here, V1 and V2, that gets uh, amplified. This Vn corresponds to V1 minus V2. Now, diff that is why the name uh, of the amplifier that is present in the first stage is called differential amplifier, because it amplifies the difference between the two voltages. Now, there are two modes. Uh, when it comes to differential amplifier stage, that is one is differential mode, differential mode. Second one is common mode. Right. Now, example: if a V1 and V2 are of the same voltage, right? V1 and V2 are of the same voltage. So, what will be the difference? It is same voltage as in 2 volt minus 2 volt, 1 volt minus 1 volt, or 0.5 volts minus 0.5 volts. It is zero. So this zero volt is getting amplified. So zero into some factor is zero. So if the voltage between two terminals of an up amp is equal, are equal, then the output would be zero. That is the inference. So these two modes, that is differential mode and common mode, will be discussed in the next lecture. In this topic, we'll be discussing about uh, different input modes or input signal modes of our pamps right so we have had a discussion before uh, depending upon the differential amplifier uh, that is present in the op amp uh, internal diagram differential amplifier i've already informed uh, say if you have a pamp with positive terminal and a negative terminal and an output Right. This is V1. This is V2. This is non-inverting terminal because it is positive. This is inverting terminal. The differential amplifier, what it does, it it amplifies the difference between the voltages V1 minus V2 by n factor. So, depending upon this differential amplifier, uh, I mean, depending upon this differential amplifier, there are two modes. One is differential mode, and one another one is differential mode that is mentioned here other one is common mode so dif in differential mode what uh, what we have is there are another two sub subdivisions in differential mode that is one is single ended differential mode other one is double ended differential mode in single ended def differential mode a voltage is given to one of the terminals and the other terminal is grounded grounded means it is given zero volts zero potential so here in this first case the ac signal v in with particular peak to peak voltage and a particular frequency and particular phase is given to inverting terminal this is the inverting terminal and the other non inverting terminal is grounded so the difference between these two voltages the, see we have at the inverting terminal we have v in and non inverting terminal we have zero so output what we get is it is V in 
minus 0 into the gain gain of the op amp so this this value will be amplified and we will get it at the v out right so this is single ended when the voltage is given to the inverting terminal See, the other way around here is the voltage is given to the non inverting terminal right so v in with some peak to peak voltage frequency and uh, phase is given to non inverting terminal the inverting terminal is given to ground that means it is at zero volt so the difference between these two volt, these two terminals difference that is again v in minus zero that will be amplified and uh, into a factor that is gain av so here also we will have av so that will be got at the output so how do uh, how did i get this equation is i have already mentioned in the previous uh, equations or uh, videos that voltage gain of an um, differential amplifier is output by input so v out by v in right so wh what is v out from here av into v in right so what is What is V in? V in is the difference between the terminals. That is V in minus zero. So I'll get V in here and again V in here. So so this is single-ended differential mode because single-ended because the voltage source is given to one of the ends and other end is grounded. Similarly in this case. Now double-ended in double-ended differential mode, we give two different voltages. That is V in one and V in two of different voltages as well as different phases see the phase the change in the phase is mentioned here for the in inverting terminal you have a sine wave for the non inverting terminal you have a cosine wave so when two terminals that is inverting terminal and non inverting terminal are given with two different voltages different in magnitude as well as phase different in phase you get a voltage that is this is also a differential mode but double ended why double ended because the voltages are given to both the terminals in general this can be this uh, circuit can be written as uh, it is mentioned here so two ends of two ends that is two terminals uh, inverting as well as non inverting are uh, connected to a single power supply that means you are giving the same power supply here and now Coming to the common mode operation, common mode is you give same voltages to both the terminals. That is, inverting terminal is get given given with V in, non-inverting terminal is also given with the uh, V in. That is, these two are same in magnitude, V in and V in. So here the difference between differential mode, double-ended differential mode, and common mode is in double-ended differential mode you give different voltages, V in one and V in two, and different phases. Whereas here you have same voltage and same phase right so if so same voltages are given what is the different differential voltage here v in minus v in so it is zero volt right zero into av any gain zero into any gain is you get output as zero so in common mode of in uh, common mode operation the since the voltages given to both the terminals are equal output what we get is zero so the summary of the discussion is you have uh, two modes of operation in differential amplifier which comes in the very first part of the internal diagram of op amp so one is differential mode other one is common mode in differential mode there is single ended uh, differential mode and double ended single ended is you give one supply to one of the terminal other sub other other terminal is grounded and vice versa in this case double ended is you give two different voltages with two different phases right phase is this is sine wave this is cosine wave they are out of phase by 180 degrees so different phases and you get the output it can also be represented with this circuit common mode operation is you have same voltage given to both the terminals and output what we get is zero volts.